So, I hope my microphone tunes out some of the noises around me today. Uh, there are some people talking and everything. It doesn't bother me, I know them, so it's, everything is okay. But I hope, to the effects of this video, I hope uh, the microphone works properly with the GoPro. At least we're working on that. Today I want to tell you about uh, Mount St. Helens. I was there probably two months ago and it was uh, an extremely impressive experience. It was I was not expecting uh, what I felt there. I, I thought it was going to be just like a mountain. You know, you go, you say, oh, oh what, what a beautiful mountain, and that's it. No, it, it felt totally different. Mount St. Helen erupted in May, I think it was May of 1980. And when you put that in perspective, think of what you were doing. I, I know that my daughter, she was one and a half years old, so I was making something tasty for her in my kitchen, probably. And 7,000 miles away, this huge uh, explosion brought that mountain from 10,000 feet to 8,000 and some. So almost 2,000 feet gone. And you can still see the ashes everywhere. So I got there very early in the morning, so it was a little foggy and that contributed to the mood of the scene. But think of so many years later, you can still see the destruction. Usually um, nature takes over and trees grow and all those things. And that is happening very gradually, very slowly because trees cannot grow properly where there is too many ashes. Uh, a foresting company that works around there, they are trying different uh, ways of planting trees and they have to go around the how do we do or what do we do with the ashes. It is a very impressive place. On the one hand, I was very sorry for those 57 people who died. Luckily, it was a Sunday, so the woodworkers were not working there. If it had been the following day, hundreds of people would have died. But in any case, the point is, I was sorry for those 57 people who had a very, very, very sad way of dying. And the other, ha the other half of my heart was in awe of the magnificence of that landscape. It's like being on the moon. It's something weird. And it reminds us that we are nothing, that the earth has so much power. It really, it, with a teeny little explosion, it can change our habitat for years, for decades. So I hope you like the images. I loved going there. I strongly recommend you take that detour if you're nearby because it is really worth it. And I hope you enjoy this video. Through a ride. 
the back door of your heart And every time I think of you Well, something happens in my mind And every time I try to leave You're keeping me occupied Sometimes love is a thought we have too long Sometimes it's alright just to be a little wrong With no sense of consequence The strength to carry on The day breaks in the darkest place situations in your mind and you try to sleep it off but night keeps on passing by you're losing track of time losing track of time Find yourself a pair of gloves and get yourself a warm up coat. I hope you think the same thing I did. It is amazing. And uh, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We talk about so many weird things. And, uh, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you to my Patreons. They are amazing people. So thank you very much for m making my adventure possible. And uh, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye. Spirit of creating, we make something out of nothing. If you believe, hold on tight, scream into the night. Make it all glow. Dress up. It's your